the following has been brought to you by RockSolidFanClub.ca How about you and me, Brady, we talk a little bit of boxing? And how about we talk a little bit of heavyweight boxing? And I'm not talking about your traditional, your Tyson Furies and your Deontay Wilders, you know. I'm talking about guys that walk around in that division, probably about 220, 230. But they fight at a cruiserweight level, 200 pounds. But they're fighting the greatest heavyweight, considerably, of four years of his time. I'm talking about Mike Tyson. The yeah. argument can always yeah. be said that Mike Tyson was or was not the greatest heavyweight fighter of all time. I have he was the greatest opinion. youngest heavyweight of all time. I have my opinion on that as well. Yeah. <laughs> uh, people, however, people say Muhammad however, Ali. Jake Paul. Me, it's Rocky Marciano, but that's just me. Uh, listen. As far as heavyweights, true heavyweights, young, I don't know. I mean, maybe Lennox Lewis. Lennox Lewis or Muhammad Ali would probably be for it's nowadays. Here. Yeah. Jake Paul is going to be supposedly, if this happens, November 15th, stepping into the ring. Okay. I'm not saying fighting. I'm saying elder abuse, even if he throws one punch at a 59, 60-year-old Mike Tyson. Gross. It's going to kill Jake him, man. Paul. Jake Paul is looking to get paid 40 million dollars for this and mike tyson is reportedly going to take a home about half of that 20 million it's good pay it's not bad 20 million dollars that's 60 million dollar payout and jake paul is going to supposedly pocket 40 million of this for beating up an old man that's absolutely ridiculous in my opinion at&t stadium holds about eighty thousand people for this I've been to AT&T Stadium because I watched the Philadelphia Eagles absolutely uh, rip the hearts out of the Dallas Cowboys fans and team in an overtime win, and it was one of the greatest things I've ever seen. Go Birds. But this is going to be that same kind of a massacre, ladies and gentlemen. This is going to be uh, a guy who Mike Tyson is probably a lot more beloved in the state of Texas than, say, a Jake Paul is. But Jake Paul is going to walk in just like the Eagles did on the Cowboys in their kind of uh, prospected area and smash the living hell out of him if it happens. I don't like any of this. I don't like this the press conference. That... For, this is supposed to happen for Netflix. Yeah. And I think here's the biggest thing, and this is this is the part that scares me about this, Brady. Is because what do you think the 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 contracts read if somebody pulls out of this fight for Netflix? What do you think Netflix has on their end because of the amount of the money that they're putting in? Did Jake Paul sell his soul to the devil to try to make this thing happen for Netflix? Because this is kind of a do or die for him, right? Uh, I don't think it is. Okay, why? Because I, I don't think it's a do. Like, what do you mean? Do or die the fight? Well, no, 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 not the fight. I mean the promotion end of it. I mean because no. this is this is Jake Paul trying to get his promotional company to keep doing business with there's, Netflix. I know, but there's insurance here and all this stuff. Netflix is gonna is in the Jake Paul business. They're not in the Mike Tyson business. I think the deal was the big deal that was done was because Mike Tyson was involved. But I think they're just in the Jake Paul business. So okay, if they're, they're about to the be in the Logan Paul business too, if they're in the Jake Paul business. And Jake Paul is going around talking about how he's going to become a world champion. Who does that happen against? That's my biggest question for you. It's, it's bullshit, brother. I don't know why we're even fucking discussing this in, in detail when it comes to what title would Jake Paul fight for? Because they're going to have to make one up at a thin air like the BMF title because it's bullshit. There's no well, real ranking fighter that's ever going to fight him for a fucking title. And if he ever fights a ranking fighter, he's going to get slept. I don't care if it's in cruiserweight or if it's in heavyweight. It fucking can, it could be even at 185 pounds. This motherfucker's getting slept if he fights a real boxer. He didn't do well against Tommy Fury, and Tommy Fury is a pro boxer, but barely that. Well, let's this put it this bullshit. way. There's a fight coming up. Let me put it to you this way. A, a cruiserweight, that's 200 pounds. 
right? Yeah. That's where Oleg Alexander Usyk was before he moved up to heavyweight and owns all of the belts at heavyweight. What Lennox was, what's or no, so uh, uh, Holyfield was yes. forever. It was cruiserweight yes. champ. It was it's called light division. heavyweight. It was called junior heavyweight, or you know, back then. But yeah. yes, cruiserweight yeah. is what it is now. Right now, Gilbert Ramirez, Hayo Pataya, Chris Billum Smith, Eves and Gabu, and Nora McKellian are your champions in their divisions. <clears throat> I'm going to throw this out there to you because the closest one who's actually got a fight coming up is Norar actually has a fight coming up uh, very in the very near future against a Canadian boy, Ryan Riziki. In my opinion, I think Ryan's going to end up taking that fight. Yeah, Ryan's got this. I don't see anybody on that list that Jake Paul can beat to become a champion. His closest bet, in my opinion, would be somebody like Hai Opatai, because he's like the oldest one. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, he's a Southpaw. Jake's an Orthodox fighter. Um, Jake switches stances. But yeah, you know what right. I mean? But I think that that's probably orthodox. that's probably the closest. Chris Billum Smith, not a chance in hell. He's not, he's not that's a guy who's 20, who's 20 and one, and that one he just smashed the dude recently and to get that, you know, that call back. Jake Paul has to come to the realization that the money that he's going to make on any of these fights in the fighting game is going to be doing nothing more than these sideshow attractions. Yeah. Period. It's always going to no be a shame show. in that. There's no shame in that. But don't try to let people believe that you're something that you're not and letting them believe that you're going to actually be any kind of competitor for any kind of reputable belt in the world of boxing. It's not happening. You're not that size. If you were smaller and had a lot of weight classes where you could go to, you're talking about a Canelo fight. You think that you're going to possibly even lose 40 pounds to fight Canelo? I'm not going to flip Give your wins. nuts a shake, kid. It, I, I do think the fight with Canelo eventually will happen because I think what's going to happen is he'll be fighting Canelo in another like 10 years from now. Like he's going to fight senior citizens. What? And this is when I'm going to go back to what I was saying about Netflix and the, and the J Paul business. Yep. I think even if Tyson fucking sleeps him, Jake Paul will start fighting celebrities like Speed, Speedy, or whatever this guy is that are that are streamer. Like he'll fight these streamers again. They will draw money. There's a whole group of kids oh. that are way younger than us that don't well, give a fuck if he gets knocked out for Mike Tyson. They're in the Jake Paul business as well. Well, everybody's calling for Jake Paul to fight Logan Paul, his brother Logan Paul's That's partner, what we want. his partner KSI. That's no, no, the, we want we want Logan. Us adults why? want to see Jake fight Logan. Uh, why? Because it's fucking hilarious. The two brothers are going to put gloves on, make a bunch of money, and fucking sleep each other. I think this. Is I'd great. rather watch the Menendez brothers fight one another. I'll take bets on it. So is this what we're leading to, Netflix? Are we leading to the point where we're going <laughs> to be putting on legit? bullshit like are we leading to the point where we're going to have executions live on tv because if we're, you try to yeah. tell me for one second that this jake paul versus mike tyson thing is anything less than that come on come on all right well that's enough for me ranting on the boxing world. I'm going to rant next week about Jake Paul and Mike Tyson again and every week until this fight actually happens or doesn't happen because I don't think it's going to actually happen. But I'm going to ramble and ramble and ramble every week about this stupid fucking idea until it's not an idea or a thing anymore. Thanks for watching that video. If you like that video and you want to see some other stuff, check out our catalog here on YouTube or you can find us on any podcast provider anywhere in the world. Yep.